Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'm gonna to show you the difference between an external and internal hard drive. I'm gonna do it by opening up and showing you the internals of what an external hard drive looks like. So let's get into it. Now, for most hard drives that are external, you know they're like the, one of those cases with a USB cable that comes out of the back of them. Now, you can see here the USB cable is blue and the internals of the actual USB cable are blue, and I'll explain that a bit later. But we also have one of these funny looking plugs, which I'll explain and show you in detail the difference between this and a standard USB cable. So make sure to stick around and I'll show you that a bit later on. But first, the actual hard drive itself. Now, this hard drive is a Western Digital My Passport. Now, I'm not going to crack open this one in particular because it's Josephine's and she actually uses it, so I better not. But what you do to actually open these hard drives up is you can actually run a small screwdriver in the crack or that seam along the bottom of the actual case and you can actually pop it out. Now, if you're finding it's hard to actually open, there may be a screw that they hide away. Now that screw you can usually find hidden underneath a sticker or the feet, like those little pads. But in this case, I run my finger along and I actually feel there's a little bump there and you can see that little circle indentation a little bit. If I tilt it up, there it is. You can actually see there's that little indentation there and there'll be a screw hidden that you can actually use to unscrew it. Now, once you've actually unscrewed everything and popped the lid open, you'll find that inside there's just a normal hard drive that you would use inside your computer. Now, I've got two different hard drives here to show you a bit of a difference between some of them, which is a motorized and a solid state hard drive. But on top of it, you get this little piece of electronics, which is the main difference between them. Now, you can see there it actually has that same connection or that same port that you would see on the actual external hard drive and that's where you plug your USB into. On the other side, we have the SATA power and data ports which plug into your hard drive. Now, everything's taking control by this board to convert the data and the power signals to your normal hard drive. So as it plugs in, you can see it's nice flushly mounted and it would sit, if I place it over this Western Digital external hard drive, you'll notice it sits basically in the same position and the same sizing of that case. Now, you can buy these internal hard drives which are a little bit cheaper than an external hard drive. So the only thing you're paying extra for is that extra plastic case around it and the electronic board. Now, this is another hard drive I have this HP, which is actually for a server. But if you take out the actual metal casing that's for the server, you can see that the size is quite similar to the actual external case. So they're exactly the same when it comes to the actual hard drive itself or the main component of the hard drive. So there's not much else that's really different other than that circuit board and the plastic covering around the hard drive. Which leads me to the cable itself. Now this is a just a standard micro USB cable and you can see the plug actually plugs in to that USB plug that you would see on the back of the hard drive. Now the only difference is, is it's got that extra little bit on the side which has more pins. Now the reason it has more pins, you can tell on the actual uh, USB-A side, which is where you plug it into your computer, you can see the difference there of the four pins on the white one compared to the eight pins on the blue one. Now, there's a couple reasons for that. One of those is because of the transfer rate or the data that's going to be traveling to and from that hard drive. And then you also have the extra power uh, that's capable of traveling in that blue uh, USB cable or the USB 3.0. So your standard cable, which is USB 2, that can only power about 500 milliamp, whereas the USB 3 or that blue one actually can do up to 900 milliamp. So what I have here is two SATA hard drives. One is a 3.5 inch and the other is a 2.5 inch. Now, you can see on the connections, they're actually 
the same connectors that you can use. So theoretically, you could plug that same little electronics piece into this side. But the problem is, is that with a 3.5 inch hard drive, it actually uses a lot more power than the other one. So you can see here, 12 volt DC, 0.4 5 amp and on the 5 volt rail it's 0.6 amp which the little circuit board that supplies that little small version of the hard drive isn't powerful enough but I'll show you a bit later what you could use instead now as you can see here just the normal hard drive that I have I've plugged the electronic circuit board into it or that converter plugged in the cable plug it into the actual USB port itself now when I do that you can see that the LED lights up on the actual hard drive so we know it's got power and then if I go across to my computer itself I can actually see the hard drive itself pop up and it's basically like plugging in a USB device or something along those lines just like an external hard drive it doesn't actually change uh, what this hard drive is you'd normally use this hard drive plugged in and hardwired into your computer but in this case, we're just using it like it's an external hard drive because that's all the external hard drive is. Now, as you can see, it operates just like a normal hard drive would be inside your computer. Uh, it comes up with the same capacity and all that stuff. Now, the only real difference is around the speeds in which you get from the SATA plugging direct into your motherboard compared to the USB. Even though there's been a lot of advances in the USB technology and the speeds are getting up to around that 5 gigabit per second, which is quite fast, but at the end of the day, it's still not going to be as fast as plugging it directly into the motherboard itself. But it's still pretty good for running a hard drive direct from a USB port. As a good example of these cases that the hard drives would actually be enclosed in. You can see here a 2.5 inch enclosure case, which is clear. So you can actually see it's the same type of hard drive that you would plug into your uh, computer itself or have built into the computer just with that extra circuit board, which is pretty cool. And if you want, I've got a link in the description below. You can check out to purchase something like this if you wanted one of those clear cases. Now, as for a 3.5 inch, the same thing applies. You can get one of these clear cases. I threw another link down below, but the same thing happens is you can actually place that in the case. Now, when I was saying before about, you know, if it uses a lot more power, how can you plug it in? As you can see on the case itself, it has an external power plug or a DC jack that you would actually plug into your PowerPoint and then it would actually run the power through that and the data through the little data port. So that's the only real difference between the smaller hard drives and the larger hard drive. Now, you don't have to pull apart an external hard drive to get that little electronic circuit board that actually goes from USB to the SATA pins. You can actually purchase them online as well that already come pre-set up and with a nice little covering. So if you wanted to, say for example, plug in a hard drive you might have lying around, you can do that with one of these type of plugs. Now, as you can see, the one on the left is for a smaller hard drive, those 2.5 inch uh, hard drives themselves. The one on the right is compatible with the 2.5 and a 3.5 inch hard drive because it comes with that external power plug that you can plug into it to supply power. If you're interested in buying one of these, I threw a link in the description below so you can check that out as well. So I hope you can see now the difference between the internal and external hard drives. They're basically the same other than your little small component electronics that actually converts from the SATA plug to the USB plug. So that's basically the main difference. So hopefully if you wanted to understand the difference, this clears it up a little bit. But other than that, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, subscribe to the channel so you can keep up to date with all the projects that I do. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.